Let us grab some point from this episode and advice from Mary Rahim. See, if you've been longing to own a business and all of a sudden you get this unexpected money, please do not rush into a quick decision. Do not make decision when you are too happy. Do not make decision when you are angry. You need to sit back, think on what to do. Think about how you want to invest this money on. Don't make decision. If you rush into a particular business, definitely you must rush out. Now let us hear from the CEO herself what she has to say regarding liability and assets. And also add this, make sure you have something that generates money to you. It's very important. Let's hear from her. Let's go. Has value. Liability is a key joy to your financial status. Owning an asset secures a long-term financial stability. Now speaking about liability, there are some people that immediately they get the money in their accounts. They do not even think before they start spending the money. Instead, they start getting material things, thinking of how to go to club, buy drinks, compete with friends that are not even in competition with them. Which is why I said it is a liability. You do not see money and immediately you start thinking of what to buy. You don't even think before taking action. You just go out, you buy a drink, you buy wristwatch, you buy all sorts of things. Like you cannot even resell. In the next two to three years, that will be adding value to your life. Some people will receive a huge amount of money, for example, from online games or inheritance. And what they do, some of them immediately spend the money. Best practice, you do not have to spend that money immediately. What you have to do, if you're somebody that has passion for something already, why don't you sit down and think about it? Go to people that have an idea of that thing you have passion for. If there are people that are around you, you can equally go to their shops with a jotter or pen and quickly jot down, ask them things about the business for you to have more ideas about what you want to do. So you get an idea from this person, you get from this person, you get from that person. And you merge it together, you will see that it will be very easy for you to know the materials that are very important for you to get, no matter the kind of business you're doing. And if you know that is not enough, you can equally go online. We have a lot of platforms that we can learn different things from. If it is tailoring, if it is hair, anything you want to learn, you can learn it online. And then by then you gather evidence or you gather materials and things that you'll be needing for this particular business that you want to do. Like they always say, opportunities come but once. So when you see that money, that huge money, do not be fast to spend that money. And do not let friends or family manipulate you and tell you what to do. Once you get that money, keep it to yourself. You pray about it. You talk to yourself about it before touching the money. Do not let opportunity pass you by. Going forward to assets. For instance, you have a pet and you decide to make it a liability or an asset. Making it a liability means you are just buying it as a pet. And you're feeding it, bathing it, keeping it clean because you want it as a pet. But then making it an asset is you doing everything possible for it to be fine. And you're also making it produce babies. It might be a puppy and it might be kittens. Anyhow, you decide once you start producing kids or you start producing kittens or puppies and then you decide to sell them, then you are making it an asset. Note, you are also an asset. Invest in yourself and add value to yourself. Like you all know, I am Rahim. I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye.